Or we will get here and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the X Note ROM. This is build 3 for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Um, um, we're going to be checking out and see what you get. So basically this is um, essentially stock ROM but with a ton of the new features added. If you want the full list I'll have the link to the XDA post um, down below. We could have a look through all the different uh, features and you know stuff they get with this ROM. So essentially it is the same. Um, but there, there's obviously, since it's a rooted phone and you can tweak certain stuff like the um, battery icon at the top and you could customize it. Um, <clears throat> before I get started, I just wanted to say if you want this um, ROM on your phone, I'll have a link to how you could uh, root your phone and flash the recovery and how to install the ROM and all that good stuff in the description down below if you wanted to go check out those videos. So yeah, let's get started. So you can see, essentially it looks the same, the icons that here at the top are a bit different and you have the uh, CPU usage um, always in the uh, notification tray. You can, uh, I think you could disable that somewhere in the settings, but if you wanted to know how much your CPU um, is using at any given time, you could go there and check. Um, when we go to settings, and we got a little section here that says X Note settings. Um, these, this is where you could customize a whole bunch of different stuff and make the phone very unique and different. So first we're going to go into Xnote uh, Extra um, and then you agree with a ton of different settings. Uh, the first one, this is the multi uh, window mod. So you can have four screens running um, at the same time. You've got the studio image and um, editor. You could disable all ads. Um, so if you have ads running in a certain application or anywhere on the phone it will just disable all the ads monitor CPU usage in real time like I said it, you could also monitor it in the right there and we got CPU spy and this shows you like uh, all the different frequencies that your processor has been running at so you can see 72% um, of the time mine's been running at 300 megahertz and how much it uses when it's in a deep sleep and all these other um, times so if you're interested in that, you can do that. Let's go back. Then you've got launcher settings and you've got the theme manager. Right now I'm running uh, this AOSP plus, the theme. Um, it's pretty good. If you want kind of like close to stock and you don't really like the touch rays, you can do that. And it changes it up just a little bit to kind of make it look more stock. You also got the basic, natural, Chinese classic, X Note Blue Sport and X Note Lollipop. Actually, I think I'm using this one right now. This is the one I'm using, the Lollipop theme. So you can see this is what the, uh, the Lollipop theme looks like. You've got some of the Lollipop icons, and when you open up the app tray, you got all your applications that are in here. And without opening anything, there you go. You got all your applications that are in here. Uh, let's jump back into the settings. Uh, launch a switcher. If you wanted to select the grid size, you can customize, you know, how many icons you want to show up at any given time. Uh, page loop, wallpaper scroll, and let's back out of that. Then we've got screen mode. So these are like some of the different um, Samsung features that you could enable or disable. You could do air wake up. I think you hover your hand over the sensor to wake the device. Uh, you've got air control, air gesture, and a whole bunch of different stuff. Next, we're going to take a look at the uh, lock screen. So, if you wanted to, you can change the lock screen from the standard typical Samsung one to the ASOP uh, lock screen. So, you could just lock it, open it back up, and then you got this one right here. I think this one's a lot better, and I actually prefer this one. Or, if you really wanted to, you know, to stick with the Samsung one, you can stick with the Samsung one. So there's, you have the option there and you can add your message, um, personalized message and clock to the screen if you like. Um, let's go back, we're going to go into status bar. So you can customize the status bar if you wanted to. You could make the background completely transparent, change the color. You could hide and show a bunch of different stuff. There's a whole load of um, different customization options you have um, with this ROM. You could do a ton of stuff. Um, drop down panel appearance. If you wanted to, I think you could select an image as well that you want. If you want to put an image there, you could change the clock and date. So, say if you wanted to move it from the right and put it in the center, you can move it straight into the center, change things up a bit. 
Uh, we've got battery mods, so you can add a percentage there if you want. If you if you just like having a percentage, you just want to see 85 percent. You can have it there, or you could just keep the original icon if you want. Uh, you could also change the icon. You can have charging animations. There's a whole bunch of different cost uh, customization settings. I don't want to get into all of this, but I just want to show you most of the stuff that you can actually do with it. Uh, Network. You can show the um, traffic monitor. And you've got quick toggles. Obviously, you could show and hide different uh, toggles, customize them, move them around, and stuff like that. And then, if you wanted to apply these settings, you just restart the system UI without having to, you know, to restart the phone. Um, then we've got reboot menu, wake up. So, if you uh, wanted to wake your phone using the home button, you could just press the home button and it wakes your phone. I think that is disabled by default, so you have to enable it. Um, reboot options keyboard if you wanted to add additional keyboards maybe one from the marketplace or one that you downloaded uh, the, the audio mods this is one thing I recommend this ROM has a sound boost which makes the volume a louder um, and there is a no noticeable difference between stock and the uh, uh, boosted one if you don't want it boosted that much you could go for the medium one but the boosted one is really good and it does enhance the sound quite a bit as well so that's pretty good. So if you do get the ROM, um, you know, you'll definitely notice the difference. Uh, and then you've got about, and then you could root your phone. I think this ROM has over the, uh, over the, uh, the air updates as well, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, there's just a ton of different um, stuff you could customize with the phone as well. And, you know, just really make it good. In terms of battery life, um, I've been using this ROM and I've got a much better battery life than stock. Like it just lasts, it, I could easily get two days worth of usage out of it, easily, with normal usage. So, battery life is pretty good. You got all these um, extra settings, you could change the DPI if you wanted to. Um, you could reboot it, and then you just got your general settings. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is at the top here, you got a little dot. Uh, I think you could uh, disable that, but if you tap the dot, it just locks the screen. That's just a quick way of, you know. I'm locking the screen instead of you know pressing the button right there. I also just want to show you a quick uh, quadrant standard. Uh, I'm going to do an N22 benchmark test. So I just want to show you what kind of results um, you get and what kind of performance um, you get as well. So we're just going to speed through this all right now. And there you go, the results are in and it scored 25,165, which is a pretty good uh, result. You can see um, some of the old, old, much older devices are in there and what they scored. And you can just see how far technology comes in the processor and then the raw power that the phone has. So that, that's the results we get from that application. Next one will do Antutu Benchmark, when you open. So before we do that, we're just going to close down this. And we're just gonna run the test right now. And we'll be back when it's done. And the results we got was 47,726. You can see it's just above the OnePlus One, HTC One M8, the S5, the Nexus 5 is down there as well. So it scores pretty up um, high up there. I think the only one that's up there, which is a brand that I've never heard of before, it's called it scored more or less exactly the same. See the thing the Note 4, the original one has a bit higher, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, these are the results I've got. I think it's pretty good results. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you're happy with the results and if you got better on your one. So yeah, this is just a quick look at the um, X Note ROM. This is build 3 from the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to install this for yourself, um, I'll have the tutorial how to install it, how to uh, root your phone and install the recovery. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching. Peace.